Hi everybody. In today's video we're going to look at how do we calculate bioavailability given certain amounts of information we have from different formulations of a given drug. So here's the problem. A drug, 20 milligrams, is given to three groups of patients. Each group received a different formulation of this drug. The following average area under the serum concentration or time curves, or commonly you call them AUCs, were found for each group. In the first group, they received the oral liquid version, and their AUC was 1,340 milligram hour per liter. The second group received the oral capsule, and their AUC was 1,190 milligram hour per liter. And the final group received an intravenous bolus dose and their AUC was 1,620 milligram hour per liter. So what is the bioavailability of the liquid in oral capsule forms and what is their relative bioavailability to each other? So let's define bioavailability. And that's commonly referred to as F. And so bioavailability for the IV form is always equal to one. And then any other form, particularly extravascular forms, and extravascular is that fancy word we use usually for oral, their bioavailability is gonna be less than one. And so why does bioavailability range from zero to one? Because you can think of that as a percentage where the bioavailability ranges from 0%, which would not be a very good drug, to 100%, which would be IV. And bioavailability meaning how much of it is absorbed into systemic circulation. So with that background, let's figure out what the bioavailability is for the liquid. And how do we figure out what percentage bioavailability it has? So we have two pieces of information we need, the oral liquid AUC and then the IV AUC. Why do we need the IV AUC? Because that's the 100% bioavailable form. So you set up a simple ratio. And if you do that math, you get 0.827. Or, if you multiply it by 100, you get 82.7, meaning that the bioavailability of the oral liquid is 82.7%. Let's do the same with the capsule. And if we do that math, we get 73.5%. So the capsule is less bioavailable compared to the liquid. So therefore, if we were to figure out what their relative bioavailability were to each other, we can do that by again setting up a ratio of those two AUCs. And we wanna do cap to liquid because that makes the most sense for us here if the capsule is less bioavailable. If we do that math, we get 88%. So the capsule is 88% bioavailable when we compare it to the liquid, which is what we would have expected given that the capsule had the lowest bioavailability when we compare it to the 100% bioavailability of the IV form, and the liquid was next up. So I hope this gives you an idea of what bioavailability is, why IV is 100% bioavailable because it hasn't, doesn't have to go through any absorption in the body, and how we could feasibly calculate bioavailability given certain pieces of information for different formulations of drug. Thank you for your time.